me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks, and this is my vlog of the fashion outlets of Chicago located in Rosemont, Illinois, man. So stay tuned. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. If you ever been to this mall before, also, if you do shop at this mall, what's the best place that you go to shop? Comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, it takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Also, if you're a newer subscriber or you just got in tune with the channel, make sure you check out some of my older vlogs and my older reviews. You will not regret it. Now enough talking, let's get into this vlog. One thing that's pretty great about this uh, parking lot is that it tells you before you even go in, like, you know, what kind of spaces are available because all the parking uh, spaces have sensors. So as you can see, it changed because somebody just parked, but this can really help you out. So if you know, like you're coming on a packed day and level one say zero, you don't even want to waste your time and go to level one. You probably want to go to level two and etc. So in my opinion, that's definitely a great parking thing and I wish that more outlets did this. Like it's pretty nice, as you can see. Another great thing about this parking lot is like as you're driving around, they got sensors and as you can see by this like green light right here, there's no car right here. So it flashes green so you don't be like driving around the parking lot for like five, 10 minutes just trying to find a good spot. You know exactly where they are based on the green light. This is my car park right here and as you can see, it's red because my car is being sensed by the sensor. That's a pretty nice gimmick this mall got and you don't have to waste time just driving around looking for an open park. First stop up is the Nike store. Usually when I go here, there's not much heat, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it out since it's my first time vlogging the mall. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. This is a nice Nike sweater, man. I like this design on here. It's a little bit too much for my taste. It's like 60 bucks. Retail is 80. I need this to go down just a little bit more. But hopefully I can find this for a deal later on down the line. I just saw this walking in. I had to go ahead and vlog it. They also got it in a grape colorway as well. So if you had the Jordan 5 grapes, this would go perfect with that. This go hard, I can't even lie. First up is the Air Jordan 1 barcode joints. And in hand, I never really was a fan of these. As far as like the leather goes, it's trash. Got that uh like crinkled cardboard type leather. This was on the Shadow Backboard 3.0, but they put a glaze over it. As far as stock goes, they got a lot of stock of this shoe. As you can see, they got three entire rows full of it. So if you want these shoes, they definitely over here at the Rosemont Nike Outlet. Also something I'm noticing is that like the tag is like yellow. Like in some they're yellow, and some they're regular white color. That's pretty weird, I never seen that before. The shoe ain't that old for they have like yellowing on the marker. Got some Air Max 90s and like a white, uh, red, and black. Like kind of like a 49ers colorway. This material right here, I don't know, it's weird. It make the shoe look faded already. Fresh out the box, they got these for 130 retail 160 They got a nice little size run in this too. I personally wouldn't get these, but it's a nice little colorway, so I figured I'd throw it in the vlog. I always like this LeBron 16 low. I like the color range on this joint. Definitely great for the summer. Pops. They got this for 120 retail is 160 Not too bad. I need it for a little lower. They got a nice little size run in this as well. Looks like they got a return of the uh, Levi 6s or Jean 6s already. Uh, probably won't retail for it, but they're not worth retail. Get these for like 100 110 Can't beat that though. Not a bad price on these up-tempo 95s. Retail 165 Got them for 90 And they also got a white pair, like a, a Bulls Away, a home colorway or whatever. Got these for 80 bucks. Not a nice price as well, and they got a nice little size run in both pairs, so not bad. Got these ugly Gary Payton shoes. I don't know why they retro with these. It's just a waste of material. Got these for 80 bucks. Retail was 160. I wouldn't get these if they gave them to me for free. But the colorway not bad on these though. They got that same sweater design and a hoodie for the kids. 
I wish these was a man's sizes. These would go hard, but I like this little Nike design. It's got the Nike swoosh all over the, the front, but they're like three layer system. These will go hard with the breads, and these will go hard with some shadows. Apparently they got these here, but I haven't seen these on a, in any racking at all. But you know, if they got these, this is a nice uh, pickup. Rainbow like colored 270s or 720s, my bad. I don't know what price they want on these. Hopefully not retail, but if these was like under 100 or around 100, this would be a nice pickup in my opinion. Over here for the ladies, they got this Air Max 98. I'm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one. I like the this color and this color, but this little like aluminum foil type colorway is throwing me off. But eh, not a bad shoe. They want 110 for it, retail 160. Not too bad. I don't know how many lady uh, people that I be having watch my videos, but if y'all watching this video, tell me how y'all like these shoes, man. I'm not a big fan of those, but they keep making them in different colors for the ladies, so somebody must be buying them. What do you guys think of this shoe? Comment down below. If you got a little girl that loved the movie Frozen or Frozen 2, you definitely got to get these eights, man. Retail 140, they got them for 80 bucks, and they got a nice little size run in it as well, but... I don't know. I like these shoes. I like this like upper right here. It's pretty nice. This is the only good shoe that I've seen on the hash wall. Some Air Max light tools. Pretty decent. Nice little colorway. But other than that, this hash wall has... Next up is Converse. Uh, they only really got Nike Converse and uh, finish line here. So I definitely got to check this place out. See what kind of steals they got going on up in here. Got the Tyler Creator uh, Golf Lafleur's up in here. I wasn't really a big fan of his um, Converse collabs. I really like his Vans collabs better. Got it in a white with the uh, green bottom. Uh, nice little size run in it. I'm not really too crazy about it. So, but if you like it, it's here at the Converse outlet. Now this colorway I can rock with. Like I don't know what material. This Got some uh, metallic silver with the white bottom type joints. I like this uh, hat top version of the Converse. It's kind of made like a boot. Like this could withstand a lot of good, decent weather. It even got like the little boot aglet up here. But one thing I don't necessarily rock with, I don't, I don't know. It's like, kind of like a nubuck slash suede upper, as you can see. Uh, it changes when I rub my finger across it. I don't know why you would put that in a winter type boot. Like if this was all leather, this would be crack. I ain't gonna lie, I got this for 74 bucks. Not bad. I like this shoe. It's not bad. Um, I got all these stickers over here covering it up, but they got like this stitch little pattern in the shoe. It's go pretty hard with the navy upper. They also got it in like a white too. These go hard. I can't even lie. Uh, 64 or 65 bucks. It's not too bad. If I get a Converse shoe, I got to get it for around like 10, 20 bucks. Like, cause they be having like super duper sales, especially on friends and family weekend. Got these white with the like orange bottom. These go hard. These kind of represent the um, black and pink ones. I did a review uh, crystal on these. I put a link up above if you want to check it out. These not bad as hell. Cream upper with the orange bottom. Remind me of like a cream sickle. And then I got like a nice, this leather right here on this shoe is crazy. Like a black leather upper for the hearts. That's not bad at all. Converse Mountain Club, never heard of that. Um, I like the little toe tag they got here though. Upper look like it's made out of um, like a a wildlife coat material. This this material is not bad. This shoe overall, it's not bad. What they want for this? 74 bucks? Eh, a little bit too high for me, but I like the color scheme on that. For anybody that got the um, Jordan Glitter 11s, if nobody don't want to rock with that shoe, they got the gold Converse joints. Uh, how much they want for these? 55 bucks? It's not too bad. I like this. Definitely gonna go crazy for the summertime though. They ain't got no metallic silver, they only got gold which is weird. Also, another fact about this mall, this mall is extremely big. Like, it got an upstairs and a downstairs. At least about like 100 to 150 stores in this mall overall. I never even knew they had a champion store. This must be new. I gotta go ahead and check that out.
Apparently, Dr. Seuss did a collaboration with Champion. I got the Dr. Seuss collection. That's not bad. Got these pants right here. Dr. Seuss with the, the elephant cat in the hat and that other dude. He's not bad. I ain't gonna lie. He's not bad at all. Got a nice little crop top for the ladies. The Horton Here's a Who Champion joint. Also got some great sweatpants. These go hard, man. I can't even lie. As far as the prices go, like they're regular champion prices, but like an additional like 30, 40% off. So that's not bad. If you rock with champion, this would be the place to shop. Uh, this is a nice little hoodie right here. Got a spell wrong on the side. Or I guess maybe it's a collaboration with Campion or whatever. This is a nice um, a sweatshirt right here. Go hard. I don't know. In my opinion, I like Champion, but I just can't pay the full retail price. Like, I need it at, like, a discounted price because I'm so used to it being so cheap. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I'm glad that they got an outlet here, though. So, you know, if I wanted to get something for the low, I'd come over here and get it. Oh, this is pretty nice. Got, like, little Chinese writing on the side.